hey guys welcome to yet another interesting episode welcome to my youtube channel today i have a very important topic to show you to bring to you and this topic is based on the messages i have been receiving for some time now from my subscribers here and from my social media followers alike about proof of fonts People have been asking me, you know, Sakomedi, I have this money, I have this kind of amount, XYZ amount. Will this be enough for me to show as proof of funds applying for student visa to Canada? I'm like, okay. Will this be enough proof of funds for me to apply for Canada visitor visa with my family? I'm like, okay, it is enough. It is not enough. So, because of this, and the question keep popping up, and people are asking me this question on a regular basis. I have a lot of these messages in my DMs. So today I have decided to do justice to this very question many of you have been asking me. Because I have realized that a lot of you apply for visa without even knowing the right financial statements. Many of you are applying for this student visa and Canada visitor visa without even having an idea of the minimum amount that is required for you to have in your bank account. So today, this is something we'll be talking about. And one other thing that pains me is that you will see people, they will be applying for visa, having what we call chicken change in their account. So me, I'm like, no, this money is not enough. So this is something I will be bringing to you in this video. And this is something I know many of you want to know. So if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, my name is Nosa Comedy, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nosa from the source. That's because I've been able to bring information 100% from the source undiluted. And... I am the king of informative comedy right here in the United States of America. So, if this message I am bringing to you in this video is something you are interested in, let's write together. Now, let me talk about the student visa first. Then I will go to the visitor visa. You might want to ask, how is the student visa proof of funds calculated how much do i need to have as a minimum in my bank account that question cannot be answered but i will tell you how that question can be answered in a way it, it, there is no stipulated amount that you need to have there are there are there are certain factors that we culminate into letting you know the amount you need to have. Now, if you are a student going to Canada to school and you want to go and school in Canada outside Quebec, you know Quebec is a city, it's a province, I mean to say, in Canada. So if you are going to school in Canada outside Quebec, for one person, so that you, show, so that you can have an idea, for one person, if your tuition, let's say your tuition is $10,000 and you are going there for a one year program. Your tuition fee 1000 your tuition fee is $10,000 for a year. Now, this is, your, this is the proof of fund you need. If your tuition fee is $10,000 a year and you are going alone. IROCC is expecting you to have around $10,000 a year for your upkeep. Yes. So $10,000 for tuition a year, $10,000 for your upkeep in Canada in a year, that is $20,000. Now, flight money depends, that depends on where you are flying to Canada from. So let me use Nigeria as a case study. Let's say you are flying to Canada with like, um, let's say $2,000. Let me just say $2,000. It can be more than. Let's say $2,000. That is $22,000. That is to say, 
10 thousand for tuition a year your upkeep in canada to support yourself ten thousand dollars that is 20. flight two thousand dollars that is 22. now these twenty two thousand dollars is what IROCC is expecting you to have in your back account at least and when i say twenty two thousand dollars i am talking in canadian dollars do you understand now if you are going there with your spouse let's say you are going there with your spouse no kids we are using the same figure now so for one person we say twenty two thousand dollars if your spouse is going with you let's say they will need your spouse to have extra four thousand for upkeep and other expenses that is 26. your spouse flight ticket that is 28 thousand excuse me that is 28 thousand for you and your spouse now let's say you have one child that will be going with you extra three thousand for that child that is 31 two thousand for flight that is 33 if you have another child that wants to join that is you your spouse and two children we already calculated 33 for a man a wife and one child now let's say they want to add another child to make it two child to make it two children the other child three thousand and for flight for that child two thousand that is if flight is two thousand so that is extra five thousand so now you know how much it will cost you you understand to go to canada with under the student visa now if you as a person you want to go to canada as a visitor this is what is expected of you and this proof of funds there is no specific proof of funds that is needed there are many factors that will determine the proof of funds that you need and these factors are especially how long will you be staying during your visit in canada let's assume two people are going to canada i want you to understand this thing properly Let's say Mr. A is going to Canada to spend three months as a visitor. Mr. B is going to Canada to spend one week as a visitor or as a tourist, as the case may be. Mr. A is spending three months. Mr. B is spending one week. Mr. A will need to present a bigger proof of funds than Mr. B. Mind you, Mr. B is, spend, Mr. B is spending seven days and Mr. A is spending three months because this Canada um, visa officer does not want you to come to Canada and be a liability because like I have always said in my previous videos, they have their liabilities already. So they want you to come prepared. They don't want you to come there and be begging for aid. You understand? So now, if you want to stay in Canada for a month, they will need you to have at least, at least, maybe like two, maybe like three to four thousand dollars in your account, or even five thousand, because they are not just looking to see the money that will be enough for you in Canada, because you have already said you are coming to Canada for tourism purpose, and you will still go back to your country. They are expecting to see enough funds in that bank account which you can take care of yourself from and also fall back to the remaining one when you go back home to your country. So they are looking at two things. You have money that will be enough for you to take care of yourself in Canada and there, there, will, there will still be money left in that account for you to fall back on when you get back home. So. If you are going to Canada to go and spend, let's say, two weeks, if you have proof of funds of like between four to five thousand, between let's say four thousand dollars upwards, 
or five thousand dollars or let's say five to six thousand dollars upwards you might get a visa with the right documents you understand so if you are still going to that canada as a visitor and you are going there with your wife the money will go up if you were going alone maybe like six thousand or seven seven thousand canadian dollars when was needed in your bank state within well, your proof of funds or in your bank account you will have to scale it up if you are going with maybe your wife or your husband for two people we can we may say maybe like seven to eight thousand canadian dollars will be enough for two people you understand as the case may be depending on where you are going because the cost of living is expensive from city to another city for example if you want to stay in quebec it is cheaper staying in quebec than it is cheaper living in quebec than living in ontario in ontario cost of living is expensive so these are the factors that they put together to determine if your proof of funds is enough for you to take care of yourself while you are there in canada and also, let me say this. Many of you will just carry money. When I will just carry five million. When I will put for that account, boom. You know, they work like that too. Because these people, these visa officers right there are not expecting you to go and collect money from one person and put it in your account to show as proof of funds. No. That is why they will be requesting you to present a bank statement of six months. Because that bank statement, they go read down. They want to see how money is going out, how money is coming. So the first mistake you will make is to think that this bank statement, they don't read it. They go read down. If you have just collected money from somebody to put that account, they will still know. Imagine you want to go and apply for a visa tomorrow. You, you went to somebody to borrow 10 million, 10 million naira. You just borrow 10 million naira on, on Monday. You put the money inside on Tuesday. You apply for visa on Wednesday. You know, they work like that too. That is not the bank statement they are looking for. They are looking for somebody who will present an account that money has been coming in and money has been going out. That is the kind of bank statement they are looking for. So I just say, let me say this because many of you may not be aware of this. Some people are just thinking, hey, I will just come my brother to give me the five billion naira. I will just put inside the account on Monday, on Tuesday. Excuse me. I will just apply for a visa. That is not how it works. They will be reading that your account. That they read down as book. Oh, okay. One five million five uh, one million naira left the account on Monday for this. At the end of the month, it got two million five hundred thousand was used for this. See, that's where they be. If they don't read it, there will be no need for them to ask for bank account. So it's one of the reasons why many people are not getting visa because they don't know how this form of fund work. So me, I'm not telling you why it works. So please be guided. And if you have not given this, this video a fat thumbs up, please give it a fat thumbs up. Me, I like that thumbs up. This thumbs up is what helped me. You understand? This thumbs up, it allows YouTube to recommend this video to other people as well. So just click the thumbs up. So, and in the comment section, let me know the video you want me to do next. Let me know. The most popular video, the most popular demand in the comment section, I will deliver that video tomorrow. I promise you. So go to the comment section. Tell me what you want me to do a video on. Till I see you in my next video, my name is Osa Comedy. Please, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Because right here, many things they happen. So till I see you in my next video, keep winning. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do it.